7 Books to Read After Breast Cancer Books, music, and movies are an important source of inspiration and motivation. Motivation to keep moving forward, despite the stress of living with a history of breast cancer. So what book should you turn to when looking for inspiration? A quick search on the internet will give you a long list of options, most of them highly rated. But with limited time, how do you pick which book to read based on where you're at on your journey? Here are some of the top books for information and inspiration to add to your reading list. But first, we'd like to thank our sponsor, the company who developed Breast Cancer Index, a test that may help women with ER-positive, early-stage breast cancer decide with their doctors whether to extend or end anti-hormonal therapy after five years. Number one, Uplift, Secrets from the Sisterhood of Breast Cancer Survivors. Think of Barbara Dolinsky's Uplift as a fountain of advice from your best friends who've also survived cancer. Both inspiring and informative, this is the practical guide to coping with breast cancer. Tips include which deodorant to use during radiation, picking out a wig, and even remedies for nausea, all gleaned from hundreds of women. Number two, the Breast Cancer Survival Manual. Just as the name implies, the Breast Cancer Survival Manual is a concise dose of information for women facing treatment. The purpose of this book is to leave you feeling informed and in control of your treatment options, as well as your life. That's why it's our go-to resource for breast cancer info. Number three, Mom in the Polka Dot Boo Boo. Telling children about cancer without scaring them is difficult. Mom in the Polka Dot Boo Boo is a guide to having that conversation with children who don't know how to cope with mom's illness. Number four, Survival Lessons. Alice Hoffman's Survival Lessons is about reclaiming your life discovering the beauty that's all around you and moving ahead in spite of cancer. Both inspirational and practical, this is a short but sweet journal that reminds us of what's important in life. Number five, Cancer Made Me a Shallower Person. Cancer Made Me a Shallower Person, a memoir in comics, isn't really shallow at all. It's a product of 43-year-old Miriam Engelberg's battle with cancer, expressed in vulnerable humor. Equally irreverent and revealing, Engelberg chronicles her battle through a series of comics. And despite her simple, childlike drawings, Cancer Made Me a Shallower Person is an incredibly powerful and funny testament to the creative power of survival. Number 6. The Victoria's Secret Catalog Never Stops Coming The life lessons Jeannie Nash learned on the journey through diagnosis, treatment, and reconstruction are captured in the Victoria's Secret Catalog Never Stops Coming. Dealing with absurdities and realities of life, as seen through the lens of breast cancer, acknowledges what many cancer survivors have discovered. You don't really know until it happens to you. This book is often cited as a much-needed emotional release from the stress of cancer. Number 7. Living well beyond your breast cancer. So what do you do when your doctor says you have no evidence of disease? Marissa Wise, the founder of BreastCancer.org, wrote Living Well Beyond Your Breast Cancer about the lifelong journey of a cancer survivor. Her insights are helpful for dealing with life after your cancer has vanished. We hope you find inspiration from one of the books on our list. However, keep in mind that sometimes what you need is a book that isn't about illness, or treatments, or disease. Sometimes getting your mind off of cancer is the best read of all. To get more practical tips for breast cancer patients, be sure to subscribe to Breast Cancer Answers here and leave your questions in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer your questions in future videos. Finally, we'd like to thank our sponsor, the company who developed Breast Cancer Index. To find out more about your treatment options beyond your five, just click the button and download our free list of 15 questions to go through with your doctor.